What's the intel, ladies and gentlemen? It's Ender, and welcome back to D&D Watch. This is the series where I take an Overwatch hero and try to build them within Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Assuming you already have a basic knowledge of the games and a few of the rulebooks, you can jump right in and follow along. I'll tell you the books you need to get started along with each hero. With that, let's jump right in. This week's hero is... Reaper. Reaper is a cold, calculating serial killer and talent member. His abilities focus on getting as many shotgun shots in as possible before ghosting his way out of a bad situation. The books you'll need for this build are the Player's Handbook and Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Here's how to build him. For the purposes of this build, Reaper is a Shadow Sorcerer multiclass into Battle Master Fighter. Assuming the character is at level 20, he should be Shadow Sorcerer 14, Battle Master Fighter 6. For the race, pick Variant Human. For the background, choose Soldier. Reaper's alignment is likely lawful evil. I'll have his full backstory in the description. The starting stats, including racial abilities, are as follows. Strength is 10, Dexterity is 16, Constitution is 12, Intelligence is 11, Wisdom is 8, and Charisma is 16. This build uses the point buy system. His final stats are as follows. Strength is 10, Dexterity is 20, Constitution is 12, Intelligence is 11, Wisdom is 8, and Charisma is 20. For the feats, take Crossbow Expert as your variant human feat and Warcaster. Crossbow Expert removes the loading property of crossbows, ensures that being within 5 feet of a creature doesn't impose disadvantage on ranged attack rules, and it lets you use the hand crossbow as a bonus action. Warcaster gives you advantage on constitution saves to maintain concentration on spells. It lets you perform somatic components while holding a weapon or shield in one or both hands. And when given the opportunity to make an opportunity attack, it lets you cast a spell instead of an attack. For the proficiencies, take Athletics, Insight, Intimidation, Religion, and Stealth. The sources are shown, although if you can swap out Religion, I would highly recommend you do it for something else. For the starting equipment, Take a light crossbow and 20 bolts, an arcane focus, a dungeoneer's pack, and two daggers. One thing to note about this build is that once you are proficient with hand crossbows, it is best to obtain two and dual wield them. The key spells and battle master maneuvers for this class are as follows. Firebolt to potentially act as a substitute for the shotguns. Shield which can be used as an early level substitute for his wraith form. Misty Step, which can be used as an early level teleport. Gaseous Form, which can be used as a more accurate form of the Wraith form. Circle of Death, which is essentially his ultimate. And Etherealness, which is the proper form of his Wraith form. For the combat maneuvers, take Distracting Strike, which gives you extra damage to your attack damage and gives your allies advantage on their attack. Evasive Footwork, which sort of acts as Re Reaper's Wraith form while you're moving. And Menacing Attack, just for flavor. The key attributes and class levels for this build are in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.